my name is Bo and I'm a yoga teacher. Hello, my name is Jeremy and I'm a social worker at uh, West Virginia University at the Health Science Center. We're here today to talk to you about centering. Especially, what does it mean to center yourself? Now we're going to start with something called dolphin breath. This is a fun breathing exercise. I like dolphin breath because it's a fun way to connect your breath, your body, and your mind. As you can see, we're going to start standing up. Do you know how a dolphin breathes, Jeremy? Nope. <laughs> we're going to learn. Dolphins live underwater, but they breathe air. Dolphins have a blowhole on the tops of their heads. When they come up to the surface to take a breath in, when they exhale, they spray water out of their blowholes. So let's pretend we are dolphins. So, with your arms by your sides, let's rise to the top, inhaling through your nose, sweeping your arms as you swim up. Pop your hands over your blowhole, now as you exhale, let the water release. Now you can breathe in through your nose or your mouth, whatever feels best for you. We're going to take five dolphin breaths together. Are you ready? Ready. Okay. With your arms by your sides, inhale, swim to the surface, hands over your blowhole, exhale. And four more, swimming up to the surface as you inhale, Exhale. Three more, swimming up, 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 up. Cover your blowhole. Two more, swim it away, swimming, swimming, swimming. Blowhole is covered. One more dolphin breath. Swim up to the surface, take in as much air as you can, and then let the air go. <laughs> Where is your center? Where is the center of my mat? Is it over here? Is the center here? How about here? What about this block? Where's the center of my block? Could it be here? Or here? Or maybe right here? What do you think, Jeremy? Does that look like the center? It looks like the center of me. There's the center of my block. Now, where is your center? Here is mine. Where's yours, Jeremy? Same place. Do you ever feel as if you are not centered? I do. Sometimes we all feel that way. Maybe as if you are uneven. Perhaps sometimes you find you cannot pay attention. Maybe you cannot stop moving and you only want to run around. Using yoga to connect your breath to your body and your mind helps you feel calm and centered. Let's try it now. Sure. We're going to start with the warm up, and this time it's going to be a yoga hike. Starting taking a walk, we'll climb up a mountain. As you climb, breathe fuel into your body. Oxygen is our fuel. Keep breathing. Hiking up a mountain. It's a big mountain. Ooh. Let's stop to have a look around. Stop in mountain pose, feet parallel, arms by your sides. <gasps> Jeremy, look, I see a star. So pretty. <laughs> Let's take star pose. Pause for a moment to center your body. And then when you're ready, you can step or jump into star. That's a beautiful star. Are you ready to walk on? I am. Me too. Now center yourself. 
here in your middle, engage, strengthen your core muscles, and then step or hop back into mountain. And when you're ready, walk on. Climb up a mountain, walking in place, Jeremy, look at that tree. Let's pause in mountain to look at this tree. The wind is blowing it. It looks like a blown palm. Blown palm, reach your arms high above your head on an inhale, and then begin to sway from one side to the other, keeping your center strong to hold you balanced. Oh, I think the wind's stopping. Breathe slowly, connect your breath and body and mind as you sway. And then come to stillness and let's hike again. Oh, I see something. Let's stop in mountain. It's a dragon. Oh, it's over there. Step your right foot to the side. Bring your left knee down to the ground and lift your wings just like the dragon we see. On an exhale, center yourself and twist over to the right, watching the dragon fly by. Bye, dragon. Inhale to unwind your wings. Place both hands to the ground and step your feet together. Rise back up to mountain pose. And let's continue our hike. There's another dragon. Step your left foot to the side. Lower your right knee to the ground and reach your wings up. As you exhale, center yourself and watch the dragon fly by. Bye, dragon. Unwind your wings to the center. Lower your hands to the ground, stab your feet together and rise up to continue your hike. Wow, I think it's time to start going down this mountain. Are you ready? I'm ready. We can slow our walk a little. Hey, look, there's a pond. I think there are frogs in that pond. Do you see any frogs? I do. I see small frogs. Let's take frog pose. Step your feet a little wider than your shoulders. Bring your frog paws in front of your chest. Follow and exhale. Reach your tailbone down to the ground. Look at those frogs there. And Jeremy, what do frogs like to do? They like to ribbit. They like to ribbit? <laughs> do frogs like to hop? They do. Shall we have three frog hops? Let's do that. Ready, everyone? Place your hands to the ground and on an inhale, hop. Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> hop. ribbit. <laughs> <laughs> and then stand up in mountain pose. That was a nice hike. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. It was a beautiful hike. <laughs> and now let's have some standing yoga poses. We're on yoga mats, but you don't have to be. Our first pose is salute. With your feet parallel about the width of your hips, reach your arms up high. And now, you're going to bend your knees and sit down as if there were a chair behind you, but there's no chair, so don't sit all the way down. Exhale, take a chair pose. Now bring your hands together in front of your chest, and on an exhale, twist over to the right for a little twisted chair. If you like, you can plant your elbow on your leg. Take a breath here. And then Unwind your chair and bend your knees to fold forward and ragdoll. Let your head be heavy. Plant your hands to the ground and step your feet back to lower your knees and come into table. 
curl your toes under, we're coming to down dog. Follow and exhale, lift your hips. Take a breath here and get centered because we're going to come into crescent lunge. Look up at your hands and when you feel ready, move your right foot to the inside of your right hand. Now, your back leg is straight. Bring your hands to your knees. Pause, and when you're ready, lift your chest and reach your arms high. You need to stay strong and centered. Nice. Now, slowly lower your hands back to the ground and step your back foot up to meet your front foot. Now you're in a ragdoll. Slowly rise to salute, arms to the sky, and then draw your hands by your sides for mountain pose. That was great. Now let's try that to the other side. Inhale, salute, reaching your arms above your head. Exhale, bend your knees and take a nice rag doll pose, letting your head be heavy. Bend your knees enough so that you can place your hands down on the ground and then step your feet back so your knees are on the ground for a table. Take a breath, then curl your toes under. Lift up your hips for down dog. Take a breath here. And this time you're gonna step your left foot forward. Look up towards your hands and when you feel ready and centered, step your left foot inside your left hand. Now your right leg is still straight behind you. Center yourself so that you feel strong and balanced. Bring both hands to your knees and slowly start to lift your chest up. When you feel ready, maybe reach your hands to the sky. I'll take an exhale, slowly lean forward, place your hands on the ground and center yourself and step your back foot to meet your front foot. Take a nice forward fold in ragdoll. Then slowly reach your arms above your head, coming back to salute. Exhale, bring your hands by your sides for mountain pose. That was awesome. All right, now we're gonna take eagle pose. Pouring your weight to your left foot. Come up on two of your toes on your right foot and cross that leg over the other one. You can sit down as much or as little as you like. And for this eagle, we're going to bring our hands together right in front of your chest. Nice, balanced, strong eagle. Stay for another breath. And when you're ready, on an inhale, take a big release, letting your eagle wings fly. And now take it to the other side. So pour your weight to your right foot, build a strong foundation. Lift up onto your left toes and cross that leg over the other. Sit your hips back, reach your arms wide like wings and then Bring your hands right in front of your chest. Press into your hands to stay centered and balanced and strong. And when you're ready, take a big inhale and let your wings open and your eagle fly away. Now we're gonna come down to the mat or the ground on your belly. So however you'd like to get there. And we're going to take bow pose. So bend your knees, reach your arms long in front of you, and then sweep your arms by your side. See if you can reach your legs or your feet or your toes. And if that's not interesting to you today, maybe just reach your hands back in that direction for parachute pose. You can choose whichever one you'd like to take. Stay for one breath more here. And now slowly lower your legs. Reach your arms in front of you. Make a little pillow with your hands and let your cheek rest. 
and lift your head and rest your other cheek so we're even. And now we're going to come up to a seat. So place your hands beneath your shoulders and rise up maybe into table. And then come on to your bottom. You can sit any way you like. I'm gonna cross my legs, but I know Jeremy likes to sit in something called hero's pose, shins, and sometimes he'll sit on a block. Now, however you'd like to sit is just fine. Little side bend. Place your left hand down on the ground next to you and reach your right arm high in the air. Take an inhale, stretch your fingers high, and on your exhale, bend over to the side. So reaching your arm above your head. Take a nice long breath here. And on an inhale, reach your arm high above your head again and then let it float down to the ground. Now reach your left arm high. Stretch it long. Maybe you feel a long stretch from your hip up to your fingertips. As you exhale, take a side bend. And on your next inhale, reach your arm high. Bring your body back up to center. And we're going to take a little pose called telephone. So telephone is a seated balance pose. You can bring your feet to touch each other. And when you're ready, cradle your right foot, your ankle, your shin, whatever you have. Maybe give it a little rock side to side. And then your foot is be going to come your telephone. I hear something ringing. Yeah. <laughs> Better answer it. <laughs> Draw your foot. How do you answer a phone? Up to your ear. Doesn't have to touch your ear. Just draw it close to your ear. Hello? Anyone there? Can you hear me? I can hear <laughs> you. This is great. <laughs> and then slowly let your foot down. And now pick up your other foot. So picking up your left foot, give it a little rock side to side, a little sway. And then when you're ready, ring, 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 ring. Hello. <laughs> Answer your telephone on the other side. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you. <laughs> now you may notice our telephones look a little different and that's okay. That's the nice thing about yoga is everyone's yoga is their own yoga. So bringing your body back into center, now we're going to take boat pose. So wiggling around on your seat. Bend your knees and place your feet flat on the ground with your knees up to the sky. For boat pose, you want a nice long straight spine. When you're there, Reach your hands behind you. And maybe this is your boat today. Maybe you're feeling like you'd like to have a little bit bigger boat. So maybe you lift one leg in the air. Maybe you lift another leg in the air. Maybe only one leg at a time. Or back and forth. Float your boat however you like. If you want to lift both legs, that's great. Maybe let's try adding an arm. Maybe even another arm. Centering here in the middle of your body keeps you upright. That's a beautiful boat, Jeremy. <laughs> and when you're ready, extend your legs in front of you. Give them a little wiggle, a little shake. Because sometimes when you don't feel centered, you feel like you want to move around a lot. So let's get centered with a forward fold. With your arms by your sides. Inhale, sweep your arms up over your head. And on an exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees as much or as little as you like. Take one more breath in your fold. 
And as you inhale, rise up to a seat. And we're making our way toward restoration. So come to lying on your back. You can have your eyes opened or closed. Feel your breath in your chest. Feel the center of your body on the ground. Feel your mind settle peacefully after a yoga practice for centering. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, Jeremy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.